think I just think they're they're all going to be if injuries doesn't affect these teams, most of them are going to win. Put, they're going to try to push for 40 wins. And it's just going to be this gross congestion of middle class teams. Like I, I still think the Grizzlies, our Grizzlies, Grizzlies are, are awesome. They're they are going to fall out. I don't think they have any chance. Yeah, of, of because Mark there. can't keep doing this. Why not? He can't. This is, he's in his prime. This he is, is a tip, do- tippy they top. Had no, he's dominating others. He's going incredibly. They had no business no winning business. at the Bucks. All their fourth quarter shots are terrible <laughs> shots. Yeah. All of them. And they, they just, they uh, just uh, white White Pat almost murdered the Grizzlies by himself. He was plus twenty two in a three point loss. Dude, white Pat for for the Bucks. But anyway, my, my who's best, Black Pat? My, Pat Beverly. Do we have one? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Can you say Black Pat? I probably not. I can't say we can't. anything. No. Anyway, I won't. so yeah, Jeff thinks he can. John, what's your? Oh, I did uh, John, when, until I was eighteen. What's your best thing? <laughs> I got myself. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's seminal moments in basketball. Uh, for you guys, it's not dunk contests or three point contests, but for me, I remember <laughs> when Larry Bird raised his finger in there as the three point shot winning contest winning shot went in. I remember. Jordan leaping from the, three, the free throw line. I remember Brent Barry leaping from the free throw line. I will always, 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 always remember Hamadou Diallo's windmill miss. As long <laughs> as I live, I have never seen a dude take off like that thinking he was going to throw it down hard and windmills, <laughs> windmill throw the ball into oblivion. He didn't even, did, did any part of his body even get above the rim? <laughs> no, man. It looked like he was. <laughs> I didn't see this one. It was imperceptibly. It right there, there, there was no difference between that and Nikola Jokic's <laughs> joke between the leg one in practice. Right, right. It was exactly the same. He, the guy's on a breakaway. Oh, no. Tries to windmill it and just, it like, throws it at the back. It was like a high schooler. <laughs> yes. It was very bizarre. It looked like the first Ooh. time I attempted a dunk on an eight-foot goal. You don't want a, a Google Diallo bad shooting. Oh, no, <laughs> no. <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. I didn't see oh, the dunk, no. but it, it's pretty bad. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> he just turned me into Dom DeLuise, you had that. Uh, I, w- I would like to mention, as we get a little scattered and smothered, uh, the the Thunder have won 9 of 10. Uh, yeah. Dennis Schroeder. They're good. They can Dennis play defense. Schroeder. <laughs> they, have Dennis an, Schroeder. they have an incredible defensive lineup uh, with, Dennis and Schro- with Dennis Schroeder in the fight. Just keep Googling stuff. Man. I'm just going to keep Googling. Uh, I mean, like, does Westbrook make him... Better, worse. <laughs> like he's Ewing. They're Ewing. blowing Dude. teams away when Westbrook doesn't play. Dude, I need to. Maybe I need to check my stats. Maybe it's not as a uh, like. Westbrook is a complicated <laughs> subject. I mean, they're trucking teams. Although I guess it's just the Knicks and the uh, the Knicks and the yeah, take Suns. Take it easy, Fizdale. The Suns who have uh, lost half their games by over twenty points. But when the Suns win, it's really fun, and they win unexpectedly. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's go to the opposite of our steak and eggs: the cream of wheat, <clears throat> worst of week. What's the worst thing? Utah Jazz. Going if you're on? going to put up the, about a, as abysmal a performance as you can, have the decency to get to that 69th point. I'm yeah, talking 68. What are you doing one more. Let you could down. have at least been like, "Yeah, we're trying to do that." Nice. Yes. But no. You get nothing. It's gross. Was I wrong? Were many of us wrong on Donovan Mitchell? Who is he? he looks, just looks weak and sad, and he he looks you know he looks like Terrence Ross. Oh well, you well got, I mean, you got Alpha Dog J- Joe Jingles, <laughs> Jingle all the way, sucking up all that man I mean, space. What outside things could have affected this loss that I'm not thinking about? Are big, they on a long energy. road? Are they on a load a long road trip? Well, they had just pulled off a stunning upset of the Memphis Grizzlies. <laughs> <laughs> they were riding high after winning a game against uh, that was the, an upset for the, the record. dominant. In my world. Is Gobert hurt? What do, What do we not know? Because that's just wrong. When I saw that last night, I got an alert off of ESPN, which I, you have to like literally break the land speed record to get any sort of alert on my phone now because I have all these settings set. But it said. The Mavs beat the Jazz by sixty. I was like, well, fi- to, was it fifty? It was fifty. It was oh, probably sorry. the fault of the alert. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, it's my I memory. I was high. I was high and eating a bunch of McDonald's. But we definitely weren't expecting twenty points a game. You know, thirty percent from three. Well, nope. so last year he was thirty three percent from three, yeah. right. and we were like, <laughs> oh, but he, he, you know, he got better. We think once he, he gets used to the NBA range, that'll go up. He'll have some more open. Maybe he'll have a better shot selection, but his shot selection is rough. Is it defense is just 
you know, they, him they saw him last year. They saw the, the playoff heroics, and mm-hmm. now they're game planning. And they're like, all right, you know what? If if, if Joe Ingles lights us up, that's cool. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be Donovan Mitchell. I mean, the, the Jazz have been have been very disappointing so far. And normally, teams that are going to advance in the playoffs don't lose to lottery teams by fifty. Right. Like that's a that's a Grizzlies you don't lose tw- twenty sixteen eye opener. Right. You don't lose games at all by fifty in the NBA. It never happens. I mean, that's a. It's pretty nuts. So. I mean, the Jazz. We we talked about this before the season started. Like, it's another year of something that was frankly shocking. It was shocking last year, yeah. Uh, and I mean, look at the roster. Like, it's not a good roster. Oh, well, that's a strong overstatement. Let me go. Bears the top, you know, five, ten centers. I mean, Jay Crowder's playing great. He is, and they're not doing that well, which right. is like a bad sign. Like I'm yeah. like, if you're getting the contributions from Jay Crowder and he's hitting his shots, mm-hmm. you'd want to be doing better. Rubio is, is a, is Rubio is, sucks. He stinks. Mm. Yeah. And, and Mitchell is obviously shooting really, really poorly. Could have had like some sort of Mormon curse put on him. When don't Hay- take Grayson Allen, you racist pigs. <laughs> don't do that. That's what happened. Grayson Allen had a, had a basketball <clears throat> reference game score of like negative nine, which is really, really big if you ever check those box scores. I mean, if Donovan Mitchell isn't a superstar, their go-to scorers are Jay Crowder and Joe Ablo Inglace. That's not the great. That's I, not think, a great- I think most of us thought, I definitely thought that Donovan Mitchell was going to step into becoming like a Dwayne Wade. Like, right. Like right. a year two Dwayne Wade, right. like a superstar. And it's not there yet. And maybe it's matchups. It, it might be maybe it's just early in the year. And maybe there's some stuff I'm, we don't know. Like I'm weird pretty worried injuries. about because, like you said, some of their secondary and tertiary players are playing beyond their reach, and they still suck. But when you're the superstar and you only and you lose and you lose by 50 points, you only take 10 shots because he took 10 shots. Yeah, well, I mean that's a super you're getting pulled out. But I think the, yeah. the last the last no, two true. games he scored like 10 points and he's shooting. 20, 28% or something in his last two games. I'm a little worried. And I think a lot of it starts with Rubio. When Rubio hit his shots for like several months in a row last year. I mean, Rubio. And, and we thought we hot. thought we thought Rubio had, had turned a corner. Maybe that was just the last year was the exception. My worst thing, I feel bad, so bad. This is genuinely upsetting. Karis Levert. I mean, the Karis Levert injury, I, n- I never saw it. Right. But like, I, I was almost, I had been prepping like a big Nets apology. Because I was so in, like, like Jared Allen looks good. Karis LeVert looks better than I thought he would ever be. Uh, Joe, Joe Harris, you know, these guys, they, they're set up pretty well. Spencer did when he played pretty well. Looks like they were going to be squarely in that playoff picture. And then Karis LeVert with a horrible fracture. I just feel sick. It's not a fracture. I feel sick. Or a dislocation. Yeah, it's not actually better than it was supposed to be. Yeah. Everyone thought it was going to be worse. But here's the thing. So all of, like, I dislocated my ankle years ago. And, like, that thing is so hard to come back from and leads to so many other injuries. I'm still pretty worried for him. Mm-hmm. I feel like they shouldn't bring him back. It's one yeah. of those just – although when you see the, the Gordon Hayward, who's, who is a year plus removed and not looking great, yeah. looking super slow, uh, uh, yeah. not sure what to do with the, with the subjects there. Uh, I, so I just feel bad. I feel like the, the Nets, uh, like a lot of the pe- they're, they're people who are praising them, they were correct. I'd been I'd been more cynical about them. Yeah, but it looked like they you know, things were turning around, and then to lose Levert, who was their their go to guy, uh, kept, pretty much bums me out. I mean, the Nets are still a losing team with a thus far easy schedule. Uh, they weren't as bad as I thought they would be, though. Their point differential is up be, there with uh, yeah. like a eighth or seventh seed. I mean, they, they, I, that's a playoff team, with, you know, with a healthy Levert. Well, they were six no, and six. No, they were they're six, not. They were six, they, 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 <laughs> no, I mean, according on, in the in the East, yeah, yeah. No, they they were. I mean, they have a point of they were way ahead seven. of the Wizards. Yeah, there's you know the other teams are scoring more points than them every single night. <laughs> yeah, no, they're losing games, but <laughs> they had a winning record with Karis Levert. What are you talking about, John? Mm-hmm. And, and, and right John now, John keeps shaking his head, saying, "No, they didn't." Do you we know what the record is right now? I know what it is. Six and nine. Nice. Chuck, what's your what's your worst thing? <laughs> My worst thing is the inevitable uh, Carmelo Anthony dummery that's going to come around when he inev- what, what's, is he leaving? He, he's at, he, at this point he's at follows. I don't know who's going to get stuck with him. Yeah, but some someone's going to get. What pass, is who's going to pass it on? I think you know who could use some wing scoring, some three point shooting. Don't do it. The Grizzlies. Do we have Jamichael Green coming back. Who's going to ruin our team? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, why couldn't his jaw get dislocated like a snake's? <laughs> hot snake. Don't uh, say hot snakes. What is? Yeah, it's, so we're gonna have this whole like uh, rigmarole when the Rockets inevitably cut uh, Mellow, 
and we're going to find out where he's going to go. Who's going to get mellow? He's and going then, to the Lakers. I think he could come to Miami, and I'm so afraid of it. You should be afraid I'm of so it. I'm so afraid of it. But him in L.A. would be fun. He's a banana boat boy, right? He's one of the four. It's mm. Chris Paul, LeBron, Wade. Okay, yeah, you could be in trouble. Yeah. I don't want it. Yeah, you could be in trouble. I, I mean, he, he is... He's definitely done, right? Yeah. Can he hit a it's, spot up three? Can I no, look that up? No, ever? he can't. That okay. assistant coach came back to fix the Rockets' defense and was like, "Okay, step one, cut this dude." This this, <laughs> this this could have been the worst thing as well. He the last I think this is the last game he got to play was the quote unquote revenge game, right? Against the Thunder. Yeah. And oh my gosh. Real and bad. then after oh, that, revenge indeed, Rabanga was had. Yeah, Rebenga. he was. Uh, you know, looking ahead to the awards segment of the program, he was very bad in that game. And then after that, the, the Rockets did this weird thing where they said he was sick, which was just embarrassing. And one, and one of the uh, post game or pre game. Oh, you're talking about when D'Antoni, <clears throat> when they asked him about uh, well, if D'Antoni had the illness that's going yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so D'Antoni coughed at one of the the, the pre game pressers, mm. and I think maybe it was Tim McMahon or somebody uh, was just like, "Do you get that? Do you get that illness from the Carmelo? Mellow, mellow flu." D'Antoni said, "That's not funny." Yeah, that's funny. but while laughing. <laughs> So, I mean, poor Mello, I think it's official. I don't think he can help a team. Even though in my brain, I'm like, the Hornets should get him. He would help. Or the Grizzlies right. need scoring. He would help. I don't, it turns out I don't think he would help. I think he'd be, but he looks going to get another shot. He'd look really good in a Knicks uniform. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the Suns. <laughs> the Suns, and they make their playoff push as Doesn't the only go, team. They just go hang out with LeBron. I mean, the Lakers have a hole to fill with Rondo getting hurt. They could use another old oh, weirdo as a playmaker with a on a one-year contract. Just to get an o- another old weirdo. Well, let's uh, let's move to the awards segment of the program. The International Stackhouse of Pancakes. Why'd you just sigh? Award. You said let's move to the awards segment. <sighs> I was thinking it was John. It's probably was me. It? It's okay. not sighing. That's sign. again heart failure. That's, uh, <laughs> it's emphysema. <laughs> labored, labored breathing. <laughs> Uh, the award segment of the program, uh, the iShop goes to the worst performance in a box score. This was a big Landry Shamit time. So this is, this is a big week and you know, the nomination committee had a lot of difficulty narrowing it down. I think we're going to go with some honorable mentions. John's boy, Landry Shamit. Woo! Two for 13. Doesn't even get in this week. Memphis Grizzlies MVP that game. Uh, honorable mention, Joe Harris, three for 15. Malik Monk, four Guarding for Jairus. 19. And James Harden with 20 misses, seven for 27, could not become wow. a nominee. What happened? So I tell you, so this is, again, I was really caught up. I thought Malik Monk, four for 19. That's an, that's an awesome game. Mm. Uh, Went over from a lock. It, it all is like, do you take the 10% shooting percentage? you take the more of the higher attempts? I went more with the lower field goal percentage this week. But as they occurred chronologically through the week, Carmelo Anthony, one for 11 in maybe his final NBA game. I made that up, but it <laughs> seems like he's a liberal. He was one for 11 with two points, five boards, a turnover, two personal fouls uh, in that loss to the Thunder. Also, our boy Garris. Gary Harris. Gary Harris. Gary Harris. <laughs> One for 11. Four points, five fouls, uh, two rebounds, four assists. And then Buddy healed with an abysmal th- donkey. Three for 17. He did have 12 points, four rebounds, two assists, two turnovers, two personal fouls. And finally, Kimball Walker and a loss to the woeful Cleveland Cavaliers, who honestly, I thought their jerseys looked terrible. Um, they look pretty nice on TV. And by the way, yeah. a little, little another Patreon plug here. John had a bonus podcast episode for our five dollar and up people at Patreon reviewing the city jerseys. I see you did not go with my title suggestion of Schmear Eye <laughs> for the not. NBA guy. <laughs> we went with Ham and Away. No, Ham and I away. got that. Ham and Away took way too long for us to find a breakfast. Something about like 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 the. the the bread count of the jerseys, like mm. bread for thread. Ah, there, there we go. I don't know. Anyway, Egyptian so, uh, so uh, bread count. for our Patreon supporters, the five dollars and up, you get the bonus episode. And it's not just me; it's with our our designer uh, Austin Gray, who uh, is a, a uniform expert. And check is. out at Soccer Sigils on and Instagram. The designer of the iconic 
Fast yeah. break break. Awesome designer. Uh, it's not my opinions, thank God. Right. Or it would just be me talking about the heat. <laughs> oh, my God. The- 